Hey folks, back from ArtoftheImage.com. We are down here at Pidock Conservation Area. This is Pidock Lake. And uh, the dock is not back in the end of the water here. But the water is nice. It's always nice to be down at the water. I don't know if you can hear me over the wind. There's a lot of wind. I'm going to double check and see if we got the wind cut filter on here. The water's pretty high down here. We've had a lot of rain, and uh, this is an interesting spot behind me here. A lot of branches and trees all floating and stagnant water. Looks kind of like it'd be a great setting for an interesting movie, documentary. Maybe the uh, Pidock Lake Conservation Area Swamp Monster. I guess it isn't a swamp. Standing on the edge of the lake here, you could see I'm standing on this stone berm. I think that's what you call it, a berm on the side. But across the lake is the campground, and you can see some of the trailers. So this is at 27 millimeters. This is the full wide in video on the FZ300. Just to give you an idea, there is the zoom coming out, and we are now at 648. That is 648 millimeters. So it shows you the reach on this. Pretty impressive. 600 millimeters has uh, more reach than you realize till you start playing with it. And there we go back out to 27 millimeters. It's a beautiful sunny day, clear blue sky, quite chilly though, the wind is blowing, my fingers are cold. Pretty neat spot here with the erosion along the bank. This tree's falling over and you can see all the roots along here. This would be good b-roll footage down here for again a documentary or a spooky movie or something like that. You can see right down there. Let's see if the FZ300 can zoom in on the ripples in the sand. Kind of neat in there through all the branches. Then we've got a downed tree right there. Fairly large tree broke off from the riverbank right over. And this always drives me nuts. People leaving their garbage, littering. If I uh, had a bag and a spot to put it, I'd grab these right now. I should come down here with the kids and do a little cleanup. We'll see how the four axis image stabilization does here because I'm probably a little shaky. So I'm actually drinking a coffee right now while I'm filming this from Beantown. If you're here in Woodstock, best coffee in town. Now check this out. Who leaves a golf bag hanging off a tree at the side of the lake? Kind of crazy. What kind of golf bag is that? Let's go all the way into 600. Mizuma? Mizumi? Something like that? It looks like it was intentionally left there. I mean, it's possible, I guess, that if the water was high, it might have washed up and got hooked up on that tree. I'd almost hope that was the case instead of somebody just littering their golf bag here on the shoreline of Pitock Lake. But you know, some people's kids. This little guy scampered like crazy when I opened the Velcro strap on the bag here. But 
thanks to the uh, 600 mil zoom here on the uh, FZ300. We're in, we're at 648 right now, but pretty good little close up on this little varmint. Cute little bugger. With the uh, 600 mils, I don't think he feels threatened at all. He doesn't realize I'm this zoomed in on him. If only squirrels had high tech. <laughs>